No, it looks a little bit like a turd in a bag. This is the story of my epic 16 day deep south road trip. We're covering four states from Nashville to New Orleans and back via Mississippi. Over 2,000 miles of southern hospitality. Oh, and Dave's coming too. This is part four, New Orleans, Louisiana. And we are starting this next video from New Orleans, which you can see behind and all around me now. This is the top of the Virgin Hotel. Uh, it's amazing to be here, a city that I've wanted to come to for ages, one of the most culturally rich cities, one of the oldest cities in the whole of the United States. And I've kicked things off with a Nola Blonde Ale. So, what we have planned, we are gonna be here for three nights. Lots of different things that we're planning to do. So I'm gonna make this video a things to do in New Orleans video. I'm very excited to kick things off. I'm very excited to get started. So good to be here, a city I've wanted to come to for many, many years. So let's crack on. And one thing you have to make sure you do in New Orleans is ride the streetcar. these streetcars come in all shapes and sizes and I understand that they are the longest running passenger serving streetcars in the world and started in 1835. And the final thing you need to know is that it costs $6 for a 24 hour pass and you can ride up and down all day long. It's a great way to see the New Orleans, not New Orleans, world pass by, check out the buildings, have a little look at the history. In fact, you're gonna be riding on a piece of history. Next up, you cannot come to New Orleans without doing some kind of tour to learn about the history and the people. And we're doing ours. Well, let me just show you. We're doing our tour on bikes, actually e-bikes, learning all about the Creole culture, the people, the history, where they came from, the difference between Creole and Cajun the architecture, the fact this place is effectively built on a swamp, the history, it's a really interesting tour. And if you don't do your tour on a bike, do some kind of tour to appreciate this great city. They have their own kind of dialects in New Orleans and that's because of all the different generations, all different languages that they've had. And there was just the traffic lights with these electric e-bikes and the guy's like, you got a moor in there, you got a moor in there. And he's like, in the bike, in the bike, you got a moor in there. I was like, ah, oh, he means a motor. I don't have a motor in there, kind sir, I have a battery. And he was very impressed that we have battery powered bikes. Because uh, I was obviously going pretty fast and he was struggling to overtake me. So there you go, there's a little example of the New Orleans dialects. All right, I'm just texting Miss Durney, what a character, she's just over there. Her praline chocolate. Oh, right. no, it looks a little bit like a turd in a bag. <laughs> but that is delicious. Oh, we have these amazing mature live oaks all around the park. This is New Orleans City Park. This one is dated as 810 years old. It's apparently the national tree of the US and they have the highest concentration in New Orleans of anywhere in the United States. Just passed through the neighborhood of Treme, which was the most affected from Hurricane Katrina. It's a little bit sobering. There's not that many people moved back to that neighborhood, but despite how poor it is, super friendly. So friendly. Really impressed by that with New Orleans. All right, we've just come to the end of our bike tour. Now, New Orleans is a very bike friendly city, so definitely get out on the bikes if you get a chance. Even better do it on this tour. This is a freewheeling bike tour. I'm gonna try and pop a link in the description. And we've had a fantastic guy called Teddy. What's Thanks up guys, so much. how y'all doing? Born and raised in New Orleans, come see us. You know, it's more than Mardi Gras, Bourbon Street, Garden District, so come see the real New Orleans with the locals, man. This guy knows his stuff, thank you. Thank you, man, appreciate you. Cheers. Having a quick pit stop from the bike tour and we've stopped at Flagpole. This is my first snowball. I've gone for a mango one, condensed milk that is now dripping all over me. 
And when it comes to your evening entertainment, you have a few choices. You have a lot of different dive bars, a lot of jazz. You have to check out Bourbon Street. I don't care what anybody says, it's well worth walking up and down Bourbon Street. It connects with Canal Street, so it's right there in the French Quarter. Most of the stuff is here in the French Quarter. And that leads me to the next recommendation. I reckon three or four people have recommended French Street, which is where we are now. We're going to go check out the jazz scene and have a little look. I think it's fair to say you cannot come to New Orleans without going to a jazz club. We are going to Preservation Hall, which is a no thrills, open to all ages jazz club, and we're excited to get inside. Come on. Well, we have just arrived on Preservation Hall, and so we found out that you can't take any photos or videos, which is great. It's because we can sit back and enjoy the show. Of course, it's a very intimate venue, as you can see. I'm really looking forward to this. For sure, you have to see some kind of jazz show, but I can't show you this one. You're just gonna have to come and find out for yourself. So here we are in Bourbon Street, exploring what Bourbon Street has to offer. This place is mental. Very, very cool. A must see in New Orleans. And if that's not enough for your jazz fix, check out Wednesday in the Square, which is here at Lafayette Square. Every weekday on a Wednesday throughout the year in the summer months, they have jazz music just like this. <laughs> So it goes without saying that you cannot come to New Orleans without checking out some of the food from the Cajun to the Creole. We've got lots of recommendations. I've got lots of restaurants to show you. I'm going to start off with this one. I'm going to go through some of the favorite places I've been, but don't forget there are lots and lots of other great restaurants. If you've got any suggestions, pop them in the comments below. Otherwise, come with me. This restaurant is Code Sean, known for its Cajun Southern cooking. It's an incredible atmosphere. I've gone for the catfish. We've just had some chili dusted pork cracklin. That was actually amazing. The sauce was incredible. And I've also got this flight. This is the Cajun Private Barrel Flight. Anyway, get a load of this catfish. For the seafood option, try Soup Mario Seafood and Oyster Bar, known for its take on a Louisiana classic. I've gone for the blackened redfish magnolia served over fingerling potatoes and a medley of fucini, mushrooms, squash and asparagus. For your Mexican fix, why not come to Juan's Flying Burrito, which is described as Creole Taqueria. Dave and I have the most popular two dishes in the venue. Dave has the flying burrito, which has steak, shrimp, and chicken. And I've gone for the blackened fish tacos. I cannot get enough of this blackened fish. I don't know what they put on it, but it looks great. For more of a fine dining option in New Orleans, check out Two Jacks, which is the second oldest restaurant in the whole of New Orleans. And before we get sucked into the food, this is a Sazerac, a liqueur that was started during the Prohibition, has become famous in New Orleans. Cheers. And then when it comes to the food, I have just had a roasted mushroom crepe. That was delicious. A little bit sweet, a little bit rich. It's still really tasty with the goat cheese. And for my main, I have the grilled thurok pork chop with sweet potato mash, yeah. with raised greens, with pepper jelly, and I have paired it with a duck corn merlot a vineyard based out of Napa Valley, California. Yeah. We're finishing off our dinner at Two Jacks with a grasshopper. This is a traditional cocktail that was served here 165 years ago. And it has creme de menthe, creme de cacao, brandy, and cream. We've also just had one of these bourbons, which we both, Dave and I, really like from Blanton's, the original single barrel bourbon whiskey. Okay. 
for a lunch spot check out devil moon barbecue very casual diner style but still really nice i've gone for a turkey sandwich and they've had the beef brisket bon appetit Attached to Devil Moon is the Saint X Brewery. You can see all the barrels here. They brew a bunch of different lagers. They open at four o'clock until 11. This bar will be popping later. I might pop back and grab a beer. So just in case we don't get a chance to come back tonight, we're having a little taster down there. Pop the gas, look at that. Behind the scenes now. These guys are so cool, so friendly. Literally, nothing planned, just come out to chat with them. This is a Czech, unfiltered hell, straight out of the tank. One thing you could do is come to the foot of Canal Street. Now, Canal Street is worth seeing itself. It has a load of the streetcars, and you can come down to River Walk, have a lovely stroll on the river, or take one of the boats behind me all up and down the river. It also happens to be where the River Outlet shopping is, the River Walk Outlet, and the Four Seasons Hotel, which has View New Orleans and a 4D experience talking about the history of New Orleans itself, plus a 360 panoramic view now we haven't quite got enough time to see it today because we've got dinner reservations and it's just closed but you must check that out if you get the chance so i probably should have told you the zip lining is with zip Ola, who have been here for quite a while they did shut down for a hurricane this is the longest one pretty much the actually an alligator just down here and the second way is on a boat on a swamp tour where you can see the alligators up close and personal they do feed them i'm not too keen about that but there's also raccoons it's a great way to see the swamp in general And the final thing to do on my list for New Orleans or New Orleans is to come to Lafayette, which is only two hours away. I'm here now, I'm gonna make a whole video about our two days here, but you've got the Tabasco Museum, Avery Island, and a ton of cool things to do. However, I hope you've enjoyed this style of video, my things to do in New Orleans. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed all the different activities that we did. I've had a great time and honestly, three days wasn't enough. So it's never enough. There's always more to do. There's always another dive bar, another restaurant. The food scene and the music scene is does not disappoint you. That was incredible. Honestly, you could have had a week just partying. Um, so yeah, please let me know if you've got any of your recommendations. Pop them in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying the video. Uh, subscribe please and turn on the notifications if you're enjoying my content. Otherwise, yeah, I've had a great time in New Orleans. Uh, I'm hoping to be back soon. Maybe for Mardi Gras who knows or maybe I'll go and do that down in Mobile who knows they say that's the home of Mardi Gras comment if you agree comment if it's New Orleans like whatever you think tell me how you think I should pronounce New Orleans um, anyway yes I hope you've enjoyed the video thank you for watching check out my previous deep south road trip videos and the next ones and yeah that just leaves me with one thing left to say thanks for watching and happy travels <laughs>